Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another review. Today we're going to talk about the Memory Toy Savage Rock. Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't know what I'm getting into with this because it was sent by my friend 6 Inch Plus and I, I didn't know what I was getting. It was a surprise to me. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what this is from exactly. Um, maybe it's an original toy. Maybe it's based on something. But I honestly can't tell you because I don't know. I will say this. I'm going to show you the box. Here we are with the box, so you guys can see what's got. Cool memory toys, Savage Rock, and uh, yeah, honestly, um, I gotta start paying attention to what my friends are doing. Either that, or the algorithm doesn't show when they're doing cool stuff. Because I like the kaiju design, and it looks really cool. It looks like boxer style, you know, King Kong, which I'm okay with. That is the vibe that I am getting from it. But after taking out all the accessories and seeing what's here. Uh, it's crazy because it may be more than that. Um, I really don't know what I'm getting into. <laughs> so, uh, look-wise, we have uh, Kaiju-style King Kong. Um, I really like the scar. I really like the sculpt. Uh, it looks and feels beefy, but it's actually lighter than it looks. You can actually take those shorts off as well. But I get the Sing vibes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Sing. But uh, I actually really like that movie. <laughs> I'm a sucker for musicals. So here we are looking up. We have a, a great extensive amount of articulation there. We can technically look around, but not down necessarily. But we can tilt side to side, giving it a great expression. Arms-wise, we get mm, semi-T-pose, right? We do get bicep swivel, and we do get... There is a double joint there, but that's about as far as I'm getting. This is my first time really just sitting down and playing with it. We can hunch over with a really nice articulation and go backwards. If we take our shorts off, like I said, we'll be full-blown kaiju, as you can see below. But uh, we want to, guess I go with the anthropomorphic feel, put our shorts back on. <laughs> or did I just ruin it by, nah, let's take them off, let's take them off. But we do have these nice shorts, which is pretty cool. Our legs can go forward. We have a double joint. We actually have pretty nice angle pivot. So yeah, you actually have a really nice kaiju on your hands here if you just want them just for that, right? But the amount of accessories that this guy comes with is actually pretty crazy. And I didn't think it would come with that because I didn't, again, did not know what I was getting into. So outside of the, the shorts here that we have, we actually have a changing outfit. So what's really cool, they gave him this Ryu like gym bag, right? for like fake change of clothes and it's just stuffing in there it's no big deal but i like the idea of this like he's like a wandering i guess mc <laughs> and what's really cool is that he actually has a changing outfit with these cool white shorts and it actually is a gi and we have our top here and our top has cobra logos on the side and uh skulls and i can't really make that what that is but we actually have this cool design. So when you put this kind of stuff on him, which I'm going to do off screen because I cannot reach that far. That is, <laughs> that's a lot of work right now. My new setup is just, I have to learn how to reach because I'm a short dude. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off screen. I'm going to talk to you guys while I'm doing that. So that way you don't feel lonely. All right. But also because I don't feel like looking crazy and dropping something off screen. <laughs> so it's crazy because, um, uh, Six Inch Plus makes a lot of custom stuff, and they also have started their own line of stuff. And I'm glad I'm able to help friends out with stuff like that. It's really cool to see everybody kind of making toys. We, I feel like we're really in like a golden age of toy collecting, because everyone's kind of getting new, cool, and creative stuff. And it's really cool to see people put their ideas to the test. It's really nice to see that. So I'm actually almost finished done putting the outfit on. Here we go. <laughs> and it's like I said, it's really cool to see this on a larger figure, which technically makes it a little bit easier for them. But more importantly, if he, he also has a gi, a gi belt because he's a black belt as well. So I just like the idea that you can use this. It, it is a cool design. It's different. It can be used for different stuff. And it's cool to see kind of stuff put into use. But... On the other end, accessory-wise, we have, like, a lot of crazy cool stuff that you can use for it. So, 
we have, and again, when you have the blue shorts, you have stuff like they gave him a gold chain, which I'm not a fan of the gold chain idea, but then you have a silver chain, or would it be platinum technically? You have shades. Now, the shades are actually pretty cool because the shades, I think, just fit right over the face. Yeah, they're supposed to just line up in there or sit on his face. Ooh, there we go. But I like this. This is actually pretty funny. Right? I actually like that. But you also get gold wrist uh, chain. Oh, what was it called? What is the name of chains that go on wrist? Wow. A bracelet. Wow. I don't know why I forgot those words. But they also packed him with other stuff. So they packed him with a cigar. So if he's super popular and want to kick back, Gorilla with a, a cigar. Because now you have your cool Gorilla Grod, right? Then you have... Again, the Travel MC gimmick. We have a mic here. We have a wad of cash. But I like this one the most, which is the big jar of beer. Because this could be used as a prop for a bunch of other things. So I like the idea of this, especially if you love Thor. There's also other packed goodies. So you have Jack Daniels. You have a beer. I believe it's a Coors Light. And another brand of beer. So you actually have other stuff that you can choose from. Yeah, alcohol-wise. But it doesn't just end there. You actually get a great alternative sculpt here. So you get a roaring sculpt. That looks pretty good. Let me actually fix this lighting. I don't know what's up with my lighting lately. Hmm. I don't know why it keeps changing mid-video. Then you will get a slew of hands. So you actually get open relax hands. You'll actually get uh, the way he walks on his hands, knuckles-wise. So again, if you want to make him a kaiju, definitely possible with these. And then you'll get closed fists, because you want to be about that action, right? You already see the holding hands there. But it's cool to see this, because again, not knowing what to expect really threw me for a loop here. But now that I've put the clothes on them and I put shades on them, I don't know why. It just It's so funny, but cool to me. So I like the idea of this. So shout out to Six Sense Plus for this. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's get to the size comparison. I, d I think I got a few kaiju left out from my Ultraman video, as well as comparing them to some other human figures. So let's get to it. All right, now we're going to hit the size comparison. This is going to be a little fun, because I could do like Ultraman and kaiju. Then I could also do six inch characters or whatever, because it's just fun. So first I want to do is Godzilla Ultimate, because I want to get these, these big guys out of the way. So here we are with Godzilla Ultimate. In an even like standing kind of straight up, this guy is jacked over Godzilla Ultimate. And that's a Monster Arts, right? So that means probably the more NECA scaled stuff would be more appropriate for this guy, unless you're going to use him as like a Gorilla Grodd, right? And then here we are with SHF Tiga Power Type, which again, both of those guys look tiny compared to how big this guy is. So he's definitely going to be more of your Gorilla Grodd, your. Um, God damn it, why can't I remember this other damn villain? Ugh. It's gonna it's gonna bother me for a while. But then even with like larger stuff like the build a figure controller, he's just as big as him. And then with Mythic Legions, and this is where it gets cool because if you want to do like Mythic Legion stuff, as you can see here, it is utterly gigantic. And this is like the larger stuff. And then now, as we move down towards smaller dudes, right? You'll have like SHF Kamen Rider Kuga. Then we'll have U.S. Agent. This is the newer one from the new controller wave as well. Shout out to Flex. I appreciate you, bro. And then we'll have like Scarabs from Action Force. And as you can see here, cool guy is, is pretty much cool because even though he's bigger than everybody, he's just taking it in stride, right? And then like even if you do like G.I. Joe, you'll see even with Beachhead, just significantly smaller. So... It's definitely going to be one of those, your bigger kaiju versus him and like kaiju fight. But if you have him fight human characters, it, it'll actually look pretty much in scale. Because ain't no way me and a gorilla the same size. That's an adult size because I'm tiny. So I'm pretty sure they're going to towel over me. So I feel like this works. But um, yeah, this has been refreshing because this is this is definitely different. Like this is no knowledge going in. This was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for watching. Seriously. Thank you 
for always being around and thank you for sticking it out even through like the the ones we didn't see coming so i appreciate it you are loved and and welcomed into the world and things always aren't difficult but when they are just know that you look back on it like wow remember that thing i went through so be good to yourself and be good to others and as always be good do good drink your water guys later